How can you use your task manager to help you build a good new habit or to eliminate a bad existing habit? That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, my name is Peter Akis, and I teach people how to be more organized and more productive. And I do that right here on YouTube, but I also do that through my full-length courses, which you may want to check out in the description below the video, including a course on OmniFocus, which is the app the task manager that I'm going to use today to demonstrate how you could do this, although these principles really apply whatever task manager you're using. So we're talking about habits, about establishing a new good habit or eliminating a bad existing habit, and we're going to do this using the framework developed by James Clear in his book Atomic Habits, which I've got right here. James Clear, um, very popular guy these days online, and his book Atomic Habits is really quite good. It lays out a framework for um, how to build new habits that really stick. And he calls this uh, atomic habits because he really focuses on starting with small things that compound over time, which can be really valuable. So James Clear has a framework in his book, which I'll show you right here. James Clear says, if you want to build a new good habit, here's four things you can do. You can make it obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying. Conversely, if you want to eliminate a bad habit, you want to make it invisible, unattractive, difficult, and unsatisfying. We'll get into the details later, but I want to show you how you can use your task manager to do these four things to really make it easier for you to build that new habit. Because so often we have great intentions for building a new habit or eliminating an existing bad habit, but then we don't follow through, okay? So I'm going to open up my task manager, OmniFocus in this case, and let's start with an example. Let's say you want to build the habit of going running before work or whatever, early in the morning or something, three days a week, okay? So the first thing that I want you to do is create a new project. So I'm going to say create a new parallel project and this for me is like a, a health thing. So I'm going to drag it. Oh, well, that's not an area. <laughs> we're just going to we're just going to have it sit here, I guess. I thought I, I thought this was a folder, but it's not. Um, okay, we're going to turn this into a. It says a parallel project, and I'm going to call it "Build the Habit of Running Three Days a Week." So we can think of this habit building process as a project, as something that has steps that we're going to work through. And by the end, when you've worked through these steps, when you've completed the tasks, you'll have built this habit. And at that point, it will run an autopilot, and you won't need to manage this in your task manager anymore. So we're going to use the task manager to support the building process. Or if you want to flip all of this around for eliminating a, a bad habit, you can use your task manager for the uh, destruction process <laughs> right, of your, uh, of your bad habit. OK, so back to James Clear. He says, Make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. So what can we do? What tasks can we create in our task manager to do these things? First, make it obvious. So if you are building the habit of running three days a week, we want to make it obvious that your intention is to go for a run. What's one thing you can do? We can create a task that says, um, put my running clothes uh, out near the bed. And we want to do this the night before. So let's say you want to go running on, say, Tuesday morning, we can set this to Monday evening. So we have a task, and we're going to set it with a due date on Monday. Um, and we can defer it until Monday, no problem, whatever. And so on Monday evening, you're going to prepare your running clothes so that it's all ready to go and put it near your bed. So when you wake up, that's the first thing you see as you step out of bed. So it's obvious there's a cue. You don't forget about it. Okay, so that's step one. Next up. Make it attractive. So how can you turn your new running habit into something that's fun? Like maybe you don't have the intrinsic motivation to run. What can you do to make it a more attractive activity? So one thing you can do is listen to podcasts while you're running. So you could um, have a task in your task manager that says, download a few episodes of my favorite podcasts. Right, and you download those to your phone. And again, we just want to make sure that we set the due date um, to Monday, and it'll become Monday evening. Okay. Um, step number three: make it easy. You want to make it really easy to go for a run. It shouldn't be a painful thing. Right? It shouldn't be difficult. If it's difficult, you're much less likely to do it. So, how can we accomplish that? Well, um, one thing you could do is you can say, 
map out a short run. And again, we're just going to set that to Monday. So it's up to you. It, it depends on your experience, of course, what a short run is or what a, we can make it a short, slow paced run. So for example, I sometimes like to use the Nike Training Club app when I go running. And in this app, you have a, a coach who's actually a very funny guy, by the way. So that's some, another thing you can do to make the run more attractive is to listen to the this uh, coach Bennett is his name in the Nike Training Club app. Um, and you can choose a run that's really sl short and slow paced, okay? And by doing that, you're really making it easy on yourself to get going because when you're first building that habit, you know, you're not going to run a marathon, right? Um, but by putting all of this in your task manager, you're really going from intentions to action. So now you're not staying stuck in this phase where in your head you have the best intentions, you really do, you really want this, but you're not taking action, right? By creating these tasks in your task manager, even if these things are very quick, right, you're getting clarity on what it is that you're going to do to support this habit building. And then when you're sitting down in the morning and you're choosing what to work on today, you see that, oh yeah, right, I need to put out my running uh, clothes, right? And I need to put those near the bed and prepare them for my run tomorrow morning. So it's just a reminder and you're more likely to do it. Okay, the fourth one, make it satisfying. So how can you make running more satisfying than it intrinsically already is? You know, I don't know how you feel about it. I tend to feel pretty good after a run. Um, so one thing you could do is you could say, share my run on social media. Uh, and perhaps if you're going running on Tuesday, we can defer that until Tuesday. We can set up a next tag. If you don't know what the next tag is, go watch my video on that or take my course, get stuff done with OmniFocus 3 you'll learn all about the next tag, which is a really great way to plan your day and also to plan ahead a little bit when you combine it with a deferred date, as I just did. Um, yeah, so go check out my course and you'll learn how to do that. Again, link in the description below the video. So by sharing your run on social media, maybe you'll get some encouragement from other people. You can use an app like Strava and then... Um, People can actually see like how fast you you ran and where you ran and uh, you know those kinds of things and whether you beat any personal records and uh, that can really make you feel proud and getting comments from other people can really be motivating. So it just becomes a more satisfying thing to do by getting feedback from others, right? Usually encouragement. So this helps if you want to um, get your first run out, right? But maybe. Um, what we're building the habit of running three days a week, so we probably need repeating tasks, right? Now, eventually, um, maybe it, it becomes second nature to like pick a run in whatever running app you use, if you use one, or to share your run on social media, but like we could make this a recurring thing. So probably doesn't need to be a whole project, but what I'll do is under health, um, I'll actually copy these four things, put them under, whoa. I've been having some trouble with pasting in OmniFocus recently. I don't really know why that is. I actually talked to OmniFocus support about this, so it's, uh, it's kind of weird. Um, let's, just, let's just do them again. So I'm going to say prepare for tomorrow's run. Tomorrow's run. This is going to be a task, and we're going to have subtasks. And so again, it's going to be um, prepare my clothes, pick a podcast episode to listen to, and we're going to say, what else do we have? Uh, oh, yeah, right. Choose choose a run. So let's say choose a run in the Nike Training Club app or in Strava or whatever, right? Choose, anyway, so that you already know where you're going to run. So you have to make as few decisions as possible and share the run on social media. Okay. We're all, all we're going to do is make this a repeating task. So we're going to go over here. We're going to say repeat every week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Let's say that's when you're going to go uh, run. And we want to schedule the next due date because, uh, well, we're going to say, yep, yeah, prepare for tomorrow's run. That works. So we're going to defer it until Monday. Make it due Tuesday. Um, and now what happens is when you do these things, so these things are going to show up in your OmniFocus on Monday. We can also apply the next tag to it if we really want to. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using the shortcut control command L, by the way. Um, again, more on that in my course if you really want to get in depth with the next tag. Um, and so what's going to happen is the 22nd is uh, this coming Tuesday, I would think. Yeah. So now if I check this task off, it actually shows back up for the 24th. So that's the intended behavior that we want, right? So every time we just have a little couple things for you to work through just to help you build this habit. Now, like I said, you don't need to indefinitely keep this repeating task 
in your OmniFocus. You really don't because eventually it's going to be a, it's going to have become a habit for you to go running three days a week. And it's in the definition of the word habit is like something that you do automatically, like a repeated behavior you do automatically. It's like brushing your teeth. Uh, that's a habit for you, I hope, that you do twice a day and you probably don't have a task in your task manager that says, brush my teeth because it's just something you do. It's the same thing like putting on your shoes when you leave the house. It's just something you do. You don't need to have it in your task manager. And so at some point when you feel confident that this is a thing you're doing now, you can just go ahead and delete it from your task manager. Okay, I want to I wanna do one more example. Um, by the way, at that point when... Um, we kind of had this project here of build the habit of running three days a week, and then I put the repeating tasks actually under like a health single action list. Um, maybe this project is actually better called um, go on my first run. So you do those things, then you check this off when you've done your first run. So I'm going to mark it as completed. And then you have the repeating task here. That may be a better way of doing it, okay? I want to do one more example. Um, and my example is... A lot of us spend a lot of time on our phones, and I know that a lot of people also spend a lot of time on their phone right before they're going to sleep, which can really interfere with your sleep um, quality, can interfere with your sleep quantity because it can keep you awake for longer, and just generally is bad for your brain. So let's say that's a bad habit that you want to eliminate. So what can you do? Again, let's use project-based thinking in the task manager. So we can create a new project, and we can call it... Um, stop using my phone in bed at night. And by making this a project, and by putting tasks in this project, you're really asking yourself, which practical steps can I take? So again, it's great to have the intention to build a good habit or eliminate a bad habit, but going from intention to action, that's where all the results are. So what can we do? So one thing that I um, think is like the most obvious one is place my phone charger outside the bedroom. So I've been doing this for years now where my phone charger is just like right here on my desk. Um, and I plug it in uh, every night when I'm like starting to get ready for bed. And then I go brush my teeth, floss, all that kind of stuff and, you know, um, use the bathroom and whatever. And so now the phone is not in the bedroom. I don't see it there. If I want to look something up when I'm already in the bed, I have to get out of the bed. And why am I mentioning this? Because if we go back to what James Clear said about breaking bad habits, make it invisible. So by putting your phone and its charger, its charger outside of the bedroom, you don't see it when you're in the bed, right? Make it unattractive. Using your phone in bed is going to be very unattractive if, you have to, if you're like all cozy in the bed and warm and you have to get out to use your phone. Uh, it's also just difficult. I mean, at that point, like, you know, you don't want to get up. Um, unsatisfying. That's an interesting one. So uh, this is another task we can put in our task manager, which is turn off social media and communication apps using screen time. So you know if you're using Apple devices, which if you're using OmniFocus, I suppose you are, there's a screen time feature and you can have it disable certain apps at certain times a day. So you can say, you know what, uh, I don't want to be able, be able to use any social media or communication apps after what, 11 p.m. or you know, whenever you start getting ready for bed. And when you do that, even if you then get up out of bed, go to your phone, you won't be able to log on to Instagram or Facebook or, you know, wherever. And so using your task manager, you can get super specific about what it actually is that you're going to do to create the conditions to build these better habits, right? To build new good ones or eliminate the bad ones. Um, and you can probably come up with more things, but I want, I'm going to leave it here in this uh, video because what I want you to do now is to think of a good habit that you want to build or a bad habit that you want to eliminate. Create a project for it in your task manager, right? And think, what are the steps that I can take to support myself in this habit? You know, your task manager is not going to create the habit for you. Your task manager is not a habit tracker. Um, you don't want to use it as like a pestering friend that's constantly sending you like notifications in the case of your task manager every 20 minutes to do something. You don't want that. Just will add stress that you don't need. But think about what tasks can you complete, whether it's one time or on a recurring basis, just to help you in the initial stages when you're forming this new habit or eliminating your existing bad habit.
to increase your chances of success. That was it for today. Uh, again, check out my full course on OmniFocus if you want, and you'll learn a lot more stuff like this. And I also wanted to tell you that I send a weekly article on the topic of productivity or related to productivity to a couple of thousand subscribers to my email newsletter. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can go ahead and go to peteraki's.net and just sign up to that. And you'll hear from me every Sunday with uh, hopefully something that's thought-provoking. And you'll also hear from me when I've got new stuff to announce, like if I have any new courses or anything like that. So, all right. Thanks for watching today and uh, have a great one.